Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. Now, if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now, in tonight's shave, I'm going to be using my ZY Grand Slam. And now this is a beautiful razor. And Caesar DeFranco got his brand new ZY Grand Slam. And he did some geometry correction on it, just like I did on this one. And he's wondering how much hole wear on the spine. So if you look from like here to here, there's pretty good home wear right there. And then it trails off up here because this blade was actually out from there. It actually kind of bubbled out on that side. Now on this side, okay, if you look at this side, now you'll find that this has actually got really good even wear all the way across, all right? But there you go. Caesar, that is what this razor looks like. Now, I will be going ahead and doing a Friday special coming up this Friday, and there I'm going to go ahead and explore home wear on the spine even more because I've corrected a lot of my razors, and you know, a lot of people are scared of home wear. For me, it's not really that big of a deal, all right? But I understand where you're coming from. So this Friday, we're going to have a Friday Straight Razor Edge Friday special. And now that I'm talking about that, right, my Straight Razor Edge Friday specials come out the first and third Friday of each month. You can go ahead and down in the description, go ahead and put a question, a comment, an idea for a Straight Razor Edge Friday special. And I will uh, try to get that filmed for you. All right, now you can look right here as well because I did a Friday special on why you can't hone a straight razor and it's all about geometry correction and that would be an interesting one for you. All right, now for our soap tonight, we are using Stubble Trouble and this is yard work. This is just fantastic. This is like being out in the yard right after you mow the grass. I really enjoy this one. I do because I enjoy mowing the yard. Yeah, I know, weird, right? But I do. Okay, now for our brush tonight, the Omega 10,098. It has been soaking and I've had that puff blooming. So we're going to pour off that bloom water, put it on as a pre shave. All right. And I found all the answers to the shave of the day question on uh, Sunday. Really interesting how you guys do pre-shaves and stuff like that. Very cool. And some interesting inventive kind of ways as well. So that was neat. So we're just going to rub that in. And that is going to moisten up those whiskers, hydrate them, and make it better to shave with. Yep. All right. Now, get those hands dried off. Yeah. All right. We're going to get most of that water out of that brush, but not all of it. Okay. And let's do this. All right. So... It is the midweek shave, the wonderful Wednesday shave of the day. I really hope you're having a great week. Yep. And the world's treating you good. And hopefully you're having some great shaves, right? At least good shaves. Yeah. That would, I'm telling you, that's, that's excellent if you can have great shaves. Really put it in the comments. Let me know how your shaves are going. I really am interested and would like to know. All right, now I have just probably overdone it with the lather again because it's everywhere, but that's okay. 
That's okay. Let's not worry about that. There we go. There's that. There's most of that proto lather. Now, get that in. There we go. See if I can't get that soap off my hands and let's get our lather on, right? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, James. Creamy goodness, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. And it is wonderful. I mean, the scent on this, literally, just like you're outside in the yard right after the grass has been mowed. Awesome. Awesome. You know, even if you don't like mowing the yard, it's an excellent scent. Oh yeah. There we go. Over the top that quick. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Now, this is pass one, which is going to primarily be with the grain. So let's get going on this and let's do it. Yeah. There we go. Now I had a pretty good response from uh, the background music. Please let me know what you think of that. And uh, I'm thinking if it's uh, if it if it's what I'm thinking, we're probably going to keep doing it. You know, anything I can do to help these uh, videos be more relaxing, I will definitely do. There it is. Oh yeah, nice. Now this razor actually has got a good weight to it with those wood scales and that metal spacer. Really feels good in the hand.
Okay, switching hands. There it is. Go ahead and get this other side. Look at this, nice. This is by far the easiest soap I have to um, lather, I think. It really lathers up quick, nice, has just wonderful cushion, nice and slick, really good. There we go. Pass one complete. Let's see how we did. Get that rinsed off. Oh yeah. Nice. Yep. Good beard reduction. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. See. We can't. Get going on past two. All right, I do these shave of the day videos on Wednesday and Sundays. So check it out. And you just stop by and be here for the shave. That'd be cool. Yeah. There we go. All right. Now, pass two. It's going to be across the grain on my neck here and against the grain on my cheeks here and on my neck right in here. Be against the grain. All right. Let's get going.
Okay. Get that blade cleaned off. Now switching hands, get this other side. Switching up that handle. All right, weighted the blade only, by the way. Yeah, you shouldn't have to force it. Just let the blade do all the work. And you're good. Good to go. Okay. There's that. Okay, nice, nice, great cushion. We got a little close right there. No big deal though. Alright, there we go. Pass two complete. Nice. That felt really good. Let's find out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Yep. Cheeks are good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right where we need them. Okay. Now, time for the half pass.
and the soak that just keeps giving right here. Nice. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Now, this is the half pass, which is primarily across the grain, against the grain, sorry, against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Let's do it. Maybe hit the little bump right there again. We got something going on there, that's for sure. Yep. A little soap on it. Maybe you got a little something there too. Just put soap on it. It'll be fine. No big deal. There we go. Okay. Yes, another shave in the books. Yep. There we go. Got it. Yep. Let's see how we did. Oh yeah. Oh, that neck is nice. Really good. Wow. Excellent, excellent. All right. Now, alum everywhere. And we'll dry that off. There we go. Now for our aftershave. There's lemon witch hazel. So good. So good. Look how much is left in there. Wow. I already got another one, but I'm going to miss the old bottle. I am. Mmm. What a wonderful scent. Just like fresh squeezed lemons. So good. And I put that everywhere. Just everywhere. Yep. And for our cologne, this is Florida water. Oh yeah. Nice. You mow the grass in the summer. And this smells like summer. 
the scent of Florida in the summer here. Wow. That's nice. That is really nice. Yep. And Nivea Poche Bomb. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. It is so good to see you. I really appreciate you stopping by for this shave. Hopefully you have a good rest of the week and we're coming on to the weekend so i'll see you this weekend on sunday all right now you click right up here all right for a basic straight razor owning guide okay and that'll help you out a lot all right then you click here for my latest video click down here on the video specially picked out for you click over here on me subscribe like comment share this video with your friends have a great shave and a good day and i will see you next time on adventures in wet shaving